This is Rhonda Kitchens, the librarian in the basement. I want to let you know that the library and the graduate assistants have just completed, or at least came to a great place where we could freeze it, at least through December, the Argosy University Tampa Campus Psych -tis Test Database. Think about this for a minute. It's a really wonderful thing. When I came in, I had a room that was undocumented. I had three file cabinets. I had files that were falling apart. I had test under test, things filed underneath files. I had tw over 20 boxes of items stuffed in boxes, some of which had not been opened in six years. All of which had things written on the outside that were not actually the things written on the inside. And this um, process has caused me a great deal of grief over the past year. And I'm so excited to say that the libraries hung together and used our graduate assistance in an intelligent manner. And we have collaborated and piecemealed and done this great, beautiful teamwork thing where, yes, we have built the library, which I think is one of the first, the many digital projects that we can complete, the PsychKit database. Now, it can look better. I don't know if you know anything about me, but it will look better. But right now, I just need it to work. Let me tell you where it's at. Um, it's going to be on the library page right now. I'm going to uh, develop an easier to find place and some finding aids as well in the next few weeks. I'm going to library resources. The specific um, resources for Tampa campus and Sarasota is going to be under campus guides. I hope you saw what I just did. Sometimes this little screen's hard to move. I'm going to jump back so you see what I did. Campus guides. I went to Tampa. And right now I have an easy find a place over here in this list. Psych test kits. Um, we have been thinking about calling it something really cool like Psych Eye or something like that. But right now, this is what it is. When you click on this, you will come up with a document. It's a PDF. Um, if you know anything about PDFs, you might have something that you can do that's searchable. Maybe a PDF on HTML, but it's something we're working with. So, um, if you want to search this, you will do Control F. Let me do this. Control F. You'll see it has a little drop down. Now, if I'm looking for the California verbal learning test, I can type in California or the acronym, and this will take me to the places where it is. Now, this is the type of the information we have on this product. I'm going to need to bring this down so I can move my bottom bar. Um, I know the year. I know the cabinet and drawer that is located. I know the row where it is in the test kit room. I know if we have some in storage, if we have some that's in an overflow box. Um, I have some idea when it's used. Uh, I have an idea of a suggested minimum, which we're building. We're also going to build into the files when a person reaches that minimum that the graduate assistant or the person knows to hand the librarian or the person dealing with the test a uh, something where they need to be ordered. This will also help us meet minimums when we need to do some fast ordering for odd objects. We know other information who it's available to. Um, we are detailing this more as we go along. You'll see this has uh, children, adolescents, elderly, but you'll start seeing where we're starting to add ages. And um, we also have what the test was. We started out really simple last year, uh, but you'll see that we're starting to add more information here because these are all searchable fields. So if somebody wants a sentence completion type item, um, we will be able to put in sentence. And we'll see that there's four different places. Uh, and this talks, this will show us where they are, where they're located, and we we'll keep moving around and uh, talks about where it is and what it does and the cabinet that it's in. Um, right now, uh, that's about what it does. We know it's here. We sort of know what age it is. We know what an addition is. We know what cabinets is. If it is a form in a cabinet, is it connected to a manual in the test kit room? Some of these items are in three to four different places, somewhat necessarily, and some were not. And that's part of something we also fixed when we went through this. Because all of these represents, this represents um, actually Argosy University Tampa campuses um, intellectual wealth on in some regard. And some of these simple pieces, items in the boxes that were lost that we didn't see, they were like over $300 each. Now we know where they are. Do we need to keep all these things? I would be excited if you would come down here and tell me to discard some of these objects. But until then, I'm going to keep them on here because uh, this is what we have. We know where they are and we'll be able to find them. And what this also, I hope, is a layer of like new and improved library service. First of all, the library 
definitely wants to be in the business of business intelligence. We want to be able to build digital projects that we could get out to the students. We want to be able to have a concierge service where a student can look at this list, identify what they need, tell us when they need to pick it up, and we'll have it available for them so that they're able to go into their practicum ready with their pieces all together as we have them. And if we don't, we also have a form to collect that information and we send it on to the different departments. So um, I'm really excited to share this with you today. On one level, when I'm looking at it, saying that it really took a whole year to do, but um, I would love for you to come down. I would love for you to go through our test kit room. I would love for you to see our five new file cabinets. Thank you, Dr. Iverson. And I would love for you to talk to any of the graduate assistants about the part they've placed, played in building this really beautiful joint effort teamwork piece, which I think should make us all extremely Argosy proud.